Hello Video Editor. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you some mind-blowing editing tricks in Filmora 12. If you're a content creator, filmmaker, or just someone who loves to edit videos, then this video is definitely for you. I'm going to be sharing three powerful and easy-to-use editing tools that will take your videos to the next level. So, if you're ready to enhance your video editing skills, let's dive straight into it. First open your Filmora Video Editor. The trick I'm going to show you at number 1 is how you can create water reflections in Filmora 12. So for that, I have the video of the couple at Filmora Media. I drag and drop this video onto the timeline, and in this video I will create water reflections. I change my Filmora layout, and change it to short video layout. I have this video something like this. You should have a video like this too. The free download link of both these videos is available in the description. The next video is available in my media under the name of nature. I drag and drop it on the timeline. I increase the length of this video by slowing it down. This video I have is something like this. By selecting this nature video on the timeline, go to scale. Unlock the scale from here and lengthen its height by scaling Y something like this. Right click on the video below and copy it. Add a new video track to the top. Paste the copied video into this track. Double click on this video Within the video tab, go to the basics section. Scroll down. Flip this video vertically from here. And then unfold the compositing tab. Here in the blending mode box, select the overlay option. Next, go to the mask section at the top and click on it. From here choose the rectangle mask shape option. Scroll down. From here, increase the size of the mask using scale. You can also adjust the size of the mask on top of the player. Move the mask position down. Scroll down to the mask section. And from here adjust the blur strength for the mask according to the mask. Adjust the position of the mask well down. After doing this, select the nature video in the middle track. Go to the mask section. Select the rectangle mask shape here. This mask shape has to be adjusted like the first mask. And its position has to be shifted down. Don't forget to add blur strength to both your masks. Lock and unlock tracks while editing, so that you only have the track you are working on selected. So after doing all that, we created some mind-blowing water reflection in this video. In trick number 2 I will show you how you can do this kind of sky replacement and beautiful color correction in Filmora 12. So for that I have two videos at Filmora Media. One is a background video and the other is a C video. The free download link of both these videos is available in the description. First I drag and drop the ocean video onto the timeline. Go to project settings. From here I select the aspect ratio to match my video to 916 portrait. This video I have is something like this. Double click on this video. Go to the mask section and click on it. Click on custom mask shape from here. 
Scroll down to the mask section. Invert this mask from here. Increase the size of the mask like this. And then move the mask position up. And place it on the sky area. I adjust the blur strength according to the video. Now we will apply this mask to the sky video through animation. So for this, while keeping the playhead at the start of the video, click on the top keyframe button with the rectangle. To add the next keyframe, move the playhead forward a bit. And adjust the mask on the sky area in this keyframe something like this. So that only water is visible. And so move the playhead forward. And wherever the mask needs to be adjusted. Add a keyframe there and adjust it. After doing this, move the video up a track by dragging it. So we will have a new empty video track on the timeline. Now drag and drop the background video in this track. Double click on this video. From the transform tab, move the position Y up by value. Unlock the scale. And increase the height of background video like this. Lock the track above so we can easily select the background video. Be sure to leave a little gap between the two videos. Because this time we are going to do some more realistic sky replacement. Then go to mask section. And from here select the rectangle mask shape. Increase the size of the mask. Scroll down to the mask section. And then add the blur strength according to the video. So the bottom part of the background video will have something like transparency. Now you can unlock the video of the above track. I match the length of this video with the above video by speed. So for that I slow down the speed of the background video. For this, I drag the end of the video with a left click of the mouse with control. Let's do color correction. I double click on the above video. I go to the color tab. Here in the basic section, you will find many color presets. Click whichever color preset suits your video. I choose the preset called film stock. And in the same way I choose the same color preset for the background. After doing this, I now fill the empty gap between the background and the ocean video. So for that I drag and drop the ocean video onto the timeline. Move these two videos on the timeline by dragging them up a track. So below that we will have a new empty track. Add the C video to this track. So we will have the middle area filled. Now here you must have noticed one thing that the sun is missing from us. So we will reveal it. So, so for this I drag and drop the ocean video into the track above. First do the color correction of this video. I choose the same color preset that I applied for the videos below. Here is the film stock preset. After that, go to the video tab. Click on mask section here. And then select the circle mask shape. Move the mask position by dragging it over the sun area. Set the size of the mask to the size of the sun. Adjust the blur strength in the mask.
Now we move the mask off the screen with a keyframe animation, where we don't have the sun. So for that, add the mask keyframe to the start of this video. And in this keyframe position the mask off screen. Then move the playhead forward. Where the sun appears in the video. Then go to mask section. And add another mask keyframe from here. And move the position of the mask to the sun area in that keyframe. And this way I move the position of the mask to the sun area and the rest of the keyframe as well. So along with it we did this kind of next level sky replacement and color correction. On trick number 3 I will show you how you can scroll your videos inside a mobile in a girl's hand with Filmora 12. So for this, I have a green screen video in the media, and two background videos. The free download link of these three videos is available in the description. First I drag and drop the green screen video onto the timeline. This green screen video I have is something like this. In this you can see that the girl has a mobile in her hand, and in it she is scrolling with her finger. After dragging this video onto the timeline, move it up one track by dragging it. So we will have an empty track below. In this track I drag and drop any background video onto the timeline. The video above needs to be cropped. So select the video and go to crop tool. I crop it in 16 to 9 ratio. After that click on apply. Now let's remove the green screen of this video. Select the green screen video. Go to the chroma key tool above and click on it. So you can see that we have removed the green screen of the mobile. Now we set the background video below it. So first lock the green screen video track on it. Double click on the video below. And scale down the background video size. Move the video position to the mobile screen. Rotate video according to mobile. Now move the playhead forward a bit. Place the playhead in the scrolling position. Click on the top keyframe button. Then move the playhead forward a bit. And move the video position up in this keyframe to move the video out of the mobile screen. Now we need to add another video below it. So for that, select the videos of both the tracks. And move it up a track by dragging it. So we have an empty video track below. Another background video I drag and drop into this track. I also set this video in the background like the first video. Some of its size, position and rotation are adjusted in the background of the mobile screen. I split the extra part of the video in the middle of the track. And delete it. And this video also I zoom and scroll through keyframe animation. You can put many more videos in its background if you want. But I only adjust these two videos in the background as an example. Try to match the duration of the keyframe animation in the background videos with the girl's finger, so that your videos look realistic. Here are some suggestions for backgrounds based on different types of videos. Like corporate video, a simple office setting with a branded logo or sleek modern design in the background. You can use this trick for different purposes. For example, subscribe and follow videos of your YouTube channel or any social media. Educational video, a classroom, laboratory or library setting. Fitness video, 
a gym or outdoor setting with engaging workout visuals in the background. Fashion video, a runway or catwalk setting with models or fashion accessories in the background. Cooking video, a well-lit kitchen or food preparation area with utensils, ingredients or cooking appliances in the background. Ultimately, the background should complement the purpose of the video and make it visually appealing to the target audience. Well, there you have it, guys. Three incredible editing tricks in Filmora 12 that will surely blow your mind. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which of these editing tricks you're most excited to try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video editing tutorials and tips to help you take your videos to the next level. Take care and see you all in the next video.